All right, begin. It, enough is enough. You know, I was just on uh, the Corey show, uh, the 5150, right? I don't know if y'all ever heard of it. And I always respected the guy. He was a comedian. But, you know, R. Kelly goes on there from jail. He sings his song to let Corey know who he is. First of all, he shouldn't be on there talking like that. So he gets on there, he sings the song, and then he tell Corey that he was set up, I guess, by Tasha K. I haven't, don't know what happened with that. I don't want to know with what's going on with that. But what I do know is this, and I, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of Robert's people playing games. You know, it's, it's enough is enough. If they really want to, let's, let's settle this once and for all. Somebody get in touch with Sharon Winbush or whoever his lawyer is. Because obviously the man could not speak when he was uh, at court. When I was up there in New York, the man wouldn't talk. He wouldn't say anything. He wouldn't do anything but sit there and tap his hand on the actual desk but when he get all these charges pending against him it's the 5150 show when he get all these charges pending against him that's the Corey show he now he wants to talk in jail when he's got 30 years then he's got another 20 years you know, we can settle a lot of things that this guy is putting out and they need to put him to bed. I want somebody from his camp to make it happen. I don't care how we do it. But at the same time, in the same place, I will visit wherever he's at, what jail he's at. We could be in the same room or next to the same room. I don't care what it costs me. But here's the deal. I want him to sit there and if he can't do this he can't stand up and say yes i put myself out there right now and put himself on a lie detector test because i will put myself on a lie detector test first of all the savages will put themselves on a lie detector test to make this happen because i'm sick of the bull crap that this man is putting out there because i'm willing to sit in front of him and I pay for the lie detector test myself and put him on a lie detector test and put me on a lie detector test and see who passes on all the questions. That's what not just me, my wife, me, Jocelyn and Robert. I pay for it personally. Let's make it happen. R. Kelly Camp. Since y'all believe in y'all so, so-called hero, let's make it happen. Let's do the lie detector test. Let's make it happen. Put Jocelyn, I, and Robert. We ain't got to be in the same rooms because we need to be there at the same time. And I'll pay for it personally to prove that this man is a liar. He want, He didn't talk in court. He did not talk in court. He didn't talk in the Chicago trial. So now he wants to run his mouth to these bloggers. Let's put an end to it. I'm going to sell it. Somebody makes it happen and I'll pay for it personally myself. I'll pay for the lie detector test. Only thing he got to do is agree to it. I'm already agreeing to it. I want Jocelyn to agree to it. I'm tired of the foolishness. Let's put this to bed because at the end of the day, this is how mess is started. Mess is started when people do not want to tell the truth. It's sad. You got a 50-51 show that Corey 
I Beckham, I think, I, I forgot his name, Corey something, that is a comedian that sit here. Robert go on his show, he talks. Just because a man talk, does that mean he's telling the truth? Does that mean he's telling the truth? Let's sit down and put, put these hands on there and do the lie detector test. I pay for it because Robert's broke. So I pay for it. Me, him, Jocelyn, Jonjolin. Let's put the lie detector out. I pay for it. I fly her wherever she got to be at. I make it happen. Only thing he got to do is agree to it. To say he's willing to take a lie detector test and I make it happen. Promise you that. Because I'm sick and tired of his foolishness. Because you know what? He cannot pass the lie detector test. Jocelyn cannot pass the lie detector test. Because she can't talk, first of all. I hadn't heard from my daughter. I haven't heard anything from her. Not one thing. Every time she got to do a statement that somebody else writes. And I'm sick of it. Because it doesn't make sense, guys. This Guys, to stop. This man use his celebrity power or whatever he think he has. And he goes, he's like Sama bin Laden. He goes and hides himself in a mountain. And then he reach out to whoever he wants to reach out to. And then try to, you know, get somebody to do somebody with maybe uh, a million followers. Or two million or, uh, or half a million followers. Oh, put this out for me. And then once they put it out, then you stir up a lot of mess. That is not true. You know, I'm not taking up for no Tasha K or none of that mess. I don't want to have nothing to do with that mess. What I do want is this man to put himself on a lie detector test and I'll pay for it. Just that simple. Him, Jocelyn, me, Jocelyn. Somebody in his camp need to make it happen. It's just that simple. Because I'm tired of the foolishness. I am so tired of the foolishness. So you bloggers. That's out there. Get in some, touch with somebody in his camp. Get in touch with his cousin. Levi. Get in touch with somebody. I am tired of the mess. That this man is not telling the truth. He's hiding in rocks. Like he... Go and talk to this person. Go talk to this person. Go talk to this person. Stop going talking to people and put your stuff out there on facts and do the lie detector test. Put your fiance Jocelyn on a lie detector test. It ain't about the man that's already in jail. What it's about is this man gets on the phone, uses his minutes like Sama Bin Laden. And then he'll go and say, oh, I didn't do this. Or Tasha K need to be locked up. Or this need to happen. Or this need to happen. Or But he's supposed to be trying to appeal his court cases, but he out here running his mouth. So how can you appeal any court cases? One thing the lawyer's going to do is tell you to shut up. But he can't shut up because he's ignorant to the fact. So since he don't want to shut up, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Somebody, let's get it done. Let's get this lie detector test going between Robert, Timothy, Jocelyn, and Jocelyn. And let's get it done. Because I am tired of the foolishness. You know, I can't speak for what the other parents said, what the other parents do, but I'm ready. I'm ready like tomorrow. It should have happened yesterday. Because he is a clown. Robert is a clown right now. And that's the problem I have with him. Period. It's just so uncoming of a person that just cannot give these victims. 
give these victims their time to heal. Including Azrael. Give these victims their time to heal. She was on age. Give these victims their time, bro. You going out, getting on, I don't even know how you even doing it, but you getting on certain people's uh, lives, talking, stir mess up, get their mind all screwed up, like you telling the truth and you're lying. It's just so not of coming. If you want to leave yourself a legacy, put yourself on a lie detector test and put Jocelyn on a lie detector test. And I'm there. Just that simple. I am there. Because I am sick of your foolishness. You will not let these victims rest. And they can't heal, bro. If, so if somebody got to step up and put you where you put you in your place where you need to be at, I'm gonna put you in your place. It's simple. I'm gonna put you in your place because at the end of the day, that's what you deserve. You deserve to be locked up forever. Thirty years ain't enough. Twenty years ain't enough. For what you have done to these women and children and men and women and for these clowns that's out here and i call them clowns these clowns that's out here believe in this i don't care if you're a celebrity or not you out here believe in this foolishness you're a clown because at the end of the day you are treating these women these kids like they are stepping stools you shouldn't do people like that they're Bro, they are kids for you to sit here and allow yourself to treat and women and girls like this and like this. And for him not to be a man enough to say who he have slept with, which is under age and who he have uh, given people things to. He is a clown for doing that. And he need to go and hide himself underneath a rock and leave these victims alone. But somebody got to call him out. Because the, the victims are not strong enough to call him out. Some people are just not strong enough to call him out. I'm going to call him out. Bruh, set, set up the time and the place where we can sit down and do this lie detector test. And put this behind everybody. Set it up. Me, Timothy... John Jalen, Jocelyn, and Robert Sylvester Kelly. It's just that simple. Because everybody else don't want to mess with yourself right now. Nobody want to mess with you. But right now, I want to give it to you. Just like you want it. So people can know the type of character you are. You're a clown, Robert. You're a clown for dealing with these and hurting these victims the way you are and won't let them rest, bro. It's just not right. It's just not right. And I can't stand for people to do people like this. They're a bully. Don't bully these people. Don't bully these victims. Give them their, their just that they need. Give them what they need. The healing. It's not about my daughter, but it is about my daughter. But at the end of the day, give these victims their time and healing, bro. You sitting there and the only thing you got to do is think behind jail all day. And it's not right. It's not right. It's not fair to them. It's just not. And I can't sit here and continue on. For this man to come out by like Osama bin Laden and do his little due diligence and, and do what he has to do and then go back and hide in a rock. Come and talk on the phone for about uh, a good five minutes and then hide on a rock. It's just not right. 
It's not right to the victims. And the people that who are not agreeing with it, you ain't got to agree with it. But think about it. If that was your sister. If that was your mother. If that was your daughter. If that was your niece. If that was your grandchild. And they can't stand up for themselves. Somebody has to stand up for them. And stand up for their rights. Because at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. You cannot sit here and continue to harm people like this. It's just not right. And the only way you can put an end to something. Is get out here. And speak the truth. And only way the public. It need to be public. Not private. Public. Lie detector test. Public. So we can get it all out brother. All of it out. I want it all out. All the you slept with. How many you gave uh, certain things to. How many people you gave certain people's uh, things to. How many people you have sit in a corner and let them bucket how many people you have starved how many women you have how many women you have controlled how many women you have done things to how many that you have done so much harm to and you won't let them rest you won't let them heal from this you're a coward you're a coward for doing this and somebody has to call you out on it and i'm calling you out on it right now calling you out bro because at the end of the day you're a coward for doing that only men that who act in this in this fashion is a coward period so you are Kelly folks call Robert call Jocelyn and tell him let's sit down maybe we can do Gail King and I'm not kidding. Maybe we can get Gail King involved or get somebody neutral involved and just get the lie detector test done for this. So we can be done with this crap. We can be done with this because the victims can't they can't do it right now. So somebody has to be the, a, a man enough. Somebody has to be woman enough and somebody has to be a family enough to set this man straight. To set him straight. And also to help these victims heal and get over this mess. Get past this mess so they can have healing. Because they can't have healing for what you're doing right now, brother. They cannot. And it's, it's just not right. I can't stand for it no longer. I've been quiet too long for you to sit here and just keep running your mouth and running your mouth to people. And you're not telling the truth. If you didn't want to say nothing on the court stand, you shouldn't say nothing at all. You have every opportunity to talk in front of the judge and give him everything you need to tell him. Everything. Everything. I was there at the New York trial. You have every right to talk. No one did not hold your hand and said he wasn't going to allow you not to talk. But now you want to get out and go on YouTube and talk to individuals that think will hear your case because you think they like you. You shouldn't let somebody hear your case because they like you. You should get, get somebody out here so they can actually hear the truth. Hear the truth on what is going on with you, brother. Yeah. You should want to speak the truth to these folks. And tell the truth. And the truth is going to set you free. Because at the end of the day... You may not have done a hundred percent of this stuff, but ninety nine point nine percent you done. I give you that, but ninety point nine point nine percent you've done it, and you are not allowing them to do what's right. So please, if you cannot agree, you, Jocelyn, and I. And Jonathan will sit down face to face, brother, and let's do it. Let's do it. I know your people, whoever you have that are talking to you, 
they want the truth to come out. They say Robert tells the truth. Robert uh, is the one that has uh, all the things that he know. Robert says, I sent joy there. Robert says this. Robert says that. Robert says this. But you're saying Robert tells the truth. He need to be free. Well, let's free him. Let's free him. Let's go ahead and do the lie detector test. Let's free him. Get Jocelyn on there right now and free him. Yeah, man. Let me tell you. And I'm going to get off this live real quick. But here, here's the deal. Here's the deal right here. The deal is, Robert, if you can't agree to a lie detector test, you need to stop talking and going like Osama bin Laden and running into caves, which is caves are YouTube people that you think want to hear your story and bag you and then confuse people. What we want to do, your so-called people that are out here that's saying that you are a man of character and a man that has that is the truth well we want to see if you're going to tell the truth i mean this is the only known factor that i can see that we can get air all this out and the lie detector would be the one you can't do it in a court of law of course you can't prove the court of law. it's just the public opinion needs to see this because they need to see the facts and then we can shut you up we can shut you up for good and that's real talk I don't want no more from I just told you what I want what my kids want, what everybody wants. We want this man to stop harassing the victims, man. Stop. Just do your time and move on. But you can't. You can't because you're a coward. Period. And, you know, for your so-called people that support you, it's not about uh, bashing him. It's about just... You know, if you have people that's behind you and bagging you, like people that who support us as a family, <laughs> support me because I'm going to tell you, I'm down for the cause. I'm down to do the lie detector test. Is he down? Is Jocelyn down? That's what it's all about. Because people only bag you when they know that you are down for the cause and you're down to make sure that the facts come out because nobody wants to hear a liar so please if you're not gonna come out and tell the truth do your time sleep in your bunk try to read your bible if you can and move forward with your life in which you have God has blessed you with so far because it could have been a lot worse and come to know Jesus Christ while you're in there that's what I want that's what I want from you to give these people a peace give these victims peace because they need that they need that and if nobody else won't stand up and say it I'm saying it. Give them peace. Make them feel at home where they can go back and, and have a normal life. Because right now, what you're doing, you're just opening that wound. And they feel that they cannot get away from you. You're like Freddy Krueger. Or you're, you're, you're like uh, Michael Myers. And somebody has to put a stop to you. And I'm that person. Period. Because only God can stop you, per se, right? But I'm that person going to bring the truth out in you. And I'm going to challenge you for that lie detector test. You, Jocelyn, and me and Jocelyn will be there. I'll pay for it. I know you ain't got no money, Robert. So I'll pay for it. That's real talk. I'll pay for it. So, guys, I thank you again. 
I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. This is not not about Jocelyn per se. When we got into this this whole per se, it wasn't just for our daughter. It was for all the victims, including Azrael, including all the other women that who are victims. And I'm telling you right now, it just is so mind boggling to see this come up like a, a, a bad rash. This guy, he, he just will not go away unless you put a stop to it. So I'm trying to put a stop to it by challenging him to do this. So, guys, I thank you again. Y'all be peaceful tonight. Thank you, Jalen. That's my daughter. She's always been there from day one. Well, sh-